Good evening and welcome back to Starbound. I'm Modi Apparatus. We're back on board the Barracuda once again for our advent continuing adventures of Captain Perron Scale here. And today we're going to take on the boss of the Gamma Sector. And what that entails is first we'll need to craft the item called a Decoy Princess. I managed to gather all materials, just wood planks, pixels, fabric, and then 50 titanium bars. We have 105 on us right now, so that's perfect. We'll craft the Decoy Princess. And then we'll fight the boss here. And before we go down to a planet, let's we go down to the home planet to fight it. Maybe we should go to the home planet and fight it. Let's do that. So let's head over to our teleporter. And we should be able to, because it said it as home, we should be able to just warp there like so. And yes, it is it is home sweet home in the beta in the beta alpha sector. It's a beta sector planet, I guess. But uh, yeah, we have these sky rails here. I don't have the sky rail augment or uh, tech. Uh, made yet. I could make it. I think we might be able to do it like right away here, too um, But we could use this to like get over here really quickly uh, if we do decide to craft that um, I really want to try that out because it might be kind of cool So here we are in in all its fleshy weird tendril goodness. We've made it to our uh, Back to our town now these people do have some stuff inside their places that might be able to help me This guy's got a chest here for instance. What does he got? He's got some stims grab those and he's got a uh, just platinum. Yeah, we don't need. We can leave that stuff there. Anything's gonna help me, like for a, a battle, though, is what I want here right now. Got our bartender. He's not any any of this booze is probably not gonna help me. Who bartender's legendary revolver? Now that might help me. Uh, how do we make that? Oh, we can make a Mark II with platinum and titanium. Oh my god, that sounds amazing. Uh, this sounds really amazing. We might have to do exactly this. So we need pixels and steel bars and gold. Oh, okay, we have to do that for sure. We have to try out the the bartender's re legendary revolver for sure. All right, let's grab some gold and some, uh, we'll grab some titanium and some steel also so we can upgrade it to the next level also. Let's just grab everything we can here. Let's grab all of our gold, all of our steel, platinum, steel, silver. I don't know if we need that too. That should be good enough. We got all of our, all of our, all of our ingots with us, all of our bars. I guess there are bars in this game. Ingots in, uh, Minecraft. I'm so confused by that. I have to switch back between ingots and bars so often. And then we, uh... To play other games and it's always something different like um I'm trying to think of another one that's that's been used commonly uh in magicite it's it's always uh ironite for instance so yeah a million things to keep track of here okay so we got the bartender's revolver on the docket first of all before we summon the boss here i don't know what the boss is going to be i don't know how he's going to be at all um okay we're, we're right down here and we're trying to craft the bartender's legendary revolver this is the bartender's revolver but we can craft the bartender's Bartender's legendary revolver. We're gonna do exactly that. So we'll craft that first and let's see how it actually is uh, Let's see if it's in our pack now. Here it is. It's 30 DPS only Six damage per shot. So uh, not so legendary and the next thing we do is make the mark two Which we don't actually have. Oh, no, we can't we, we have to get uh Oh, we need this we need this one first we need this to make the bartender's legendary revolver mark two we need to get the Mark One here first. We need to get this crafted, and then we need to craft this. And now we have two guns here. We have the ooh, that's not bad actually. 150 DPS, five 30 damage per shot. That's pretty good actually. Let's take a look and see how that compares to other stuff here. Um, the other guns here, the one we're the primary one we're going to use from now on is the one I've picked up a couple episodes ago, maybe off camera, but it's a uh, base standard 241 DPS. Pretty amazing. You're not gonna beat that too much, but this this bartender's legendary revolver sounds pretty good. Uh, let's take a look and see how this does here. Oh my god! And it fires three shots. This is pretty cool, actually. It did drain out my energy pretty quickly there, though. I think it's I think it's 30 energy per shot. Yeah, that's quite a lot. Um, we don't get a lot of shots off. So 50 D 150 DPS, but you can only fire you know for a few seconds. So. Um, I think this one's a better option, even though it does drain my energy just as fast. Uh, it's pretty good. I mean, that, that's the energy's gone right now. That's pretty good. I really like this gun and the, the bullets bounce too, so that makes it even better. Uh, let's continue on looking through our stuff here for our people. Got something in the attic. Let's see. He's got more stims, bandages, med kit. Okay, so we want to put those med kits and everything right on the top bar here. What should we put back? I have the stims. I have. This is upgraded red stim too. We could probably upgrade them right now, actually. Uh, let's put the yellow stim back. We'll use some of these. We'll use some of these med kits finally. Um, we can actually upgrade our red stims right now too, just for some pixels. 100 pixels per, but we can actually do 10 of them. 
and uh, that's all of our pixels then. But uh, we have 18 red stims now. We have uh, 17 upgraded bandages. We're in pretty good shape. So uh, yeah, let's continue looking through our scavenging through our uh, crewmates' houses here. See if there's anything else worthwhile. I don't know whose house this is. Maybe it's supposed to be my house. I don't know. It doesn't seem like a very uh, captainly uh, house, but who knows? All right, let's see if uh, our hunter has anything for us. Uh, let's see. Throwing kunai and hurricanes and javelins. I don't think I'm gonna use any of that. Thanks. And my my weapons are good enough here. We might be a little bit out leveled past these guys right now. Um, because I mean they are bet beta sector guys. This is just ores or lingots rather bars, what have you. Um, yeah. Okay. Fine. Oh, kitchen counter. Nice. Well, we don't need any of that stuff. But good to know. Good to know. And let's see if there's anything else worthwhile in here. Well, I think this is my house for sure. Okay, this is my house. Yeah, this is my house here. Uh, it's got the ship locker and all that. So this is where I live. Yeah, this is this. We'll climb to the top of this place, and that's where we'll summon the the boss. I think we'll summon it from the roof of our own house. Sounds good to me. Uh, then we'll fall off of it and die immediately. Uh, so we'll see what happens here. Um, let's keep going here. There's got to be a couple good things here. This is the lore master's house if it's got anything good in here in his chest here nope which chest has nothing in it what's this does this have anything in it nope just a glitch desk that's kind of cool though i kind of like the look of i really like the way the way this was designed yeah uh, you done good the mod mod designer did very good here well i will admit everything looks really nice and uh decrepit sledge is not going to do enough damage for us 15 dps only not quite what i'm looking for uh, Goldobot, what do you got for us? Anything? Got a chest up here. Oh, he's got cakes and apple pie and burgers. Well, we're a vegetarian, so we'll take the cakes. But, uh, nothing else. We don't actually need too much food these days anyways. Um, I don't even know where our food level's at. Let's see here quick. We need to eat or not. Nope, didn't even need to eat. I don't know. I think maybe the, the upgrade we did to our little KEI thing here. Uh, you can't even see it right now because I have the cape on. But, uh, yeah, this guy might be fixing our hunger for us. Uh, seems pretty overpowered. Not have to worry about that kind of stuff all the time, but I don't mind it because that stuff is kind of sometimes tedious. And we got one more pe person here, the uh, the old scientist. Do you have anything in his uh, lockers here? Oh, he's got grenades. Okay, we'll take these grenades. And oh, you know what? We have a tech too. We can make. Let's make this. Uh, as I mentioned, we can make the Skyrail blueprint. Oh, we don't have enough pixels. The Skyrail rider. Oh well. Well, we'll. Eh, we'll need, we need a thousand pixels for that. Well, it's not not gonna happen just yet. Orf ball. Oh, interesting. A lot of cool techs here. Upgraded energy dash. Is there an upgraded pulse jump? That'd be pretty cool. Um, do we have the upgraded already? I wonder. Let's take a look real quick. No, just regular energy dash. So we'll probably want to do that for sure. Uh, not that I ever used energy dash too much. I usually just use the double jump, uh, the pulse jump. And then finally, our first mate, but our last house on the list. Uh, what does he have in his? Oh, this spawners for each of our, our crew members, in case they die, uh, and then 150 coal. Oh, I'll take the 150 coal. We'll, we'll use that to get around the galaxy here. But uh, yeah, okay, that's pretty good. Anybody else? Oh, you, you, do you have anything? I don't think you have anything. because You're not really uh, too useful. Actually, I say that, but he's actually very useful. Nuts and bolts blueprints. Anything else? All right, so I think we're ready to summon the boss here. We've done another exploration of our town, but uh, yeah. A lot of good stuff there. I think they'll help us out. And, you know, they might even help us in the battle. They might die right away, too. But there's a chance that they might throw out some guns if they have them. Who knows? Um, let's head back to our house. And I'll summon the the uh, boss from there. Hopefully it won't kill anybody. But if it does, we have a couple respawns for them. Andy. I like that you have to go upstairs to get away from that house. It's kind of cool. Loremaster is doing its thing. All right, Loremaster lives next door to us, so he might be uh, a bit, bit in trouble here. Uh, let's find a good spot to lay this down. Okay, let's lay it down right here, um, right in the middle of the house. And decoy princess, now activate it. I should take it to the, I should take it to the planet's surface and see what it attracts. Okay, so we can't do it in the in in here. We have to do it outside, on the surface. Okay, so we'll put it right here. And, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, uh, Mr. Nova Kid here, Nova Kid Mechanic. Uh, I apologize for this. What's about to happen? Uh oh. Oh my god. 
Holy crap. Uh, that was surprising, to say the least. Well, it looks like he's stuck on our uh, houses, though. That's a good thing. So let's see if we can uh, take a stim here first. And then we'll see if we can Batman up, up to the roof here. Very carefully. Nope, not quite. Come on. Come on, Batman up there. There we go. Every time I get it. All right. What are we going to do about this guy? Um, we shoot him through the thing. I'm gonna, I don't want to hit the Nova Kid. Get down. Get down. Oh, he's going to have a lot of damage, I bet. All right. He's pretty powerful. Uh, let's jump up here. Maybe we can make a hole in the roof. I can't see the Batman up too easily. So we'll make a hole in the roof here. We'll fix it later. Um, let's get above him and start shooting down at him. There we go. This will get a good... Oh, we're getting a lot of damage to him. This is, this is going pretty well. Oh, he's starting the house on fire, though. Luckily, the house is not burning down. Oh, he's using Dragon Breath. Okay. I think we got him. I don't think he's going to be too difficult. Uh, this gun is pretty OP for this uh, particular guy, I think. Uh, let's use the old uh, bartender's revolver. It's, it shoots and then splits. Oh, he's uh, he's stuck in the middle of our houses. Let's uh, let's jump over the top of him. Oh, we got him already. Awesome. Well, that worked pretty well here. We got the Bone Dragon and uh, the Bone Dragon book. Read that lore later. And then we got, what did we get? Bone, bone something, right? Where did it go? Oh, we got Dragon Bone. Dragon Bone, it's hot to the touch. The heat never dies. All right, so we have five Dragon Bones. That let us, let's craft the uh, next upgrade to our ship, I'm guessing. To let us get even further. If any other prior uh, instances have been any indication of what happens in this game, you beat the boss and then you get the next area. So uh, we'll have to craft that here. But uh, let's fix their house up here quick here first before I sign off. So that was the Bone Dragon. We took him down pretty easily. This gun I found is pretty good. Uh, too bad it wasn't one we crafted. I was hoping we could craft a nice gun, but the one we found here uh, was even better. So uh, yeah, this base standard turned out to be an awesome gun. It's not even like legendary or anything like that. It's just a standard gun, uh, which is interesting. Um, so anyways, that's going to do it for this episode. We beat the boss of the Gamma Sector, and we are on to bigger and better things next time. We'll be on to the Delta Sector, I think, it was what comes next, I would imagine. And uh, I'll be back for more next time. If you're enjoying this, please let me know, and I'll see you back for more Starbound later. Have a good night.